Hey everyone, it's uh, Kyle from the VR MoCap Project. I guess that's who I am now. I'm Kyle from the VR MoCap Project. This is how I spend every weekend. Uh, anyways, we've got three major updates. Um, and also, just before we continue, I noticed that some people are having some problems with Unreal 5. Uh, basically, I branched the project to 4.27, except for I don't know how to branch, so I just basically updated the project to 4.27, and there's some incompatibility. Hopefully by the time Unreal 5 comes out, that'll be fixed. Otherwise, you can go back and any project that doesn't say 4.27 on the kind of change list, that one you should be able to use. But unfortunately, you won't be able to use these cool new features. So uh, let's look at the features in order. Okay, so the unknown actor type uh, animation blueprint now has the live link node for the AR kit. So if your model has the blend shapes, like this gizmo I modeled for my Gremlins in 60 Seconds video, uh, you should have those blend shapes. Sorry, I would have embodied gizmo, but it's crashing, giving me this weird index out of bounds error that I have tried to fix for months and I have no idea what I'm doing. So um, please help. Next feature. Okay, so I fixed up something that's bothered me for a long time, and that's how to pair meta-human heads onto a character creator body. And I've tried to basically do all the stuff at runtime, which was not the, not the move, so you're gonna have to set them up a little bit differently in the blueprint. But I'll show you how that works. Um, first, you can see, pretty solid, right? Like, it's not floaty like it was, so... Um, What's cool about this is it basically opens up the opportunity to have different body shapes and different costumes. So I'll show you how that's uh, done now. Let's open up the blueprint. Okay, so you're gonna wanna name the body body because the actual actor component, the one that tells um, basically the player pawn what components what, it's looking for body. And face, uh, you can just copy and paste all this face information from the MetaHuman blueprint. Um, but what you're gonna wanna do with it um, outside of putting the metahuman face animation blueprint on it, is you're going to want to parent it to the socket spine 03. So that's kind of the um, chest bone on the character creator model. And once you parent it, um, you're just going to have to adjust it into place from there. But um, I found that this records well. Um, one of the issues I had when I was doing it at runtime was it would actually just record the head, you know, at 000 at the root of the character. And uh, this, if you do it like this, it's actually going to record properly. So, yeah. Happy that's fixed now. Okay, so last time we took a look at the movement actor, the walk cycles were pretty messed up. And now they're a little bit less messed up because I figured out the core problem was the character capsule wasn't rotating either when I rotated or when I made the character turn in place. So what the movement actor is, if you're not familiar, is you basically put them down facing in the X direction. For some reason, when you calibrate, you have to have them facing in the world X. Um, but what it gives you is real-world locomotion, so you can actually, you know, move room scale. But you can also use the joystick to pilot yourself around like a video game character. I've got um, eight-way kind of motion, you've got strafing, um, you also have like run variants. Uh, if you push down the joystick, uh, turn in place, all that stuff. Um, and what's really neat about it is uh, you can see I can still have a lot of my uh, motions on top because I'm animating the trackers. The motion would look better if I was actually animating on a per skeleton basis, but the system has to support so many different skeletons. I figured, hey, I just do it additively on the trackers. And it also gives us some cool little, you know, things where I can actually crouch and get like a, you know, stealth movement or just different types of animation um, on top of the actual locomotion. So it's really fun to play around with. I'd recommend it. And I think moving forward, this is what I want to spend a lot of time on the VR mocap project, is just building out features for this character. Uh, I want to do an inventory, you know, like a, a grabbing system, so I can grab props. Um, uh, yeah, basically gameplay stuff. Um, so let's talk about the future of the project. So as many of you know, for the last few months, I've been working on this project every spare moment I get, um, nights after work, weekends, whenever I have a chance, I'm adding new features, struggling to learn new things, uh, which unfortunately Unreal Engine makes it very easy to, to learn, but oftentimes I'm brute forcing stuff because I'm not a programmer. Um, this is actually like my first big programming thing. Um, but what's happened is because I spent so many weekends making the, this plugin, 
uh, I haven't made stuff with it. And that's my ultimate goal, right? I made it so I can make short films or general motion capture buffoonery. And uh, unfortunately, yeah, that hasn't happened because I'm just constantly iterating and making uh, new features. So I think the, the updates to GitHub are probably gonna slow down. So if someone else wants to um, kind of step in, uh, look at some stuff, because I'm sure there's a lot of people that are way smarter than me. I don't think I set up a lot of things properly in the beginning. Maybe we could, um, boy, a dream for this would be to add multiplayer, but I know that's a, that's a huge endeavor. That's a complete, uh, you know, square one kind of rewrite. Um, but yeah, those are the kinds of things I'm thinking about like long term. But I think for the next few months, I'm probably going to be doing a lot of uh, content because I need to have uh, examples of what this is capable of. I want to, I haven't really seen that many things that people have made with it. Actually, I think I've only seen two uh, other instances or three of people using this thing that I'm making. So uh, I just need to have like a wealth of stuff because I also was thinking about doing a mega grant at some point. Uh, I'd really like to, um, yeah, maybe raise money for that multiplayer update um, to the system. Uh, so it's kind of a weird spot right now. Like I'm also waiting for Unreal 5 because I know that there's a lot of additions to the uh, full body IK node, which I'm using ex extensively. Also, um, I think Control Rig in general is completely new or at least different in uh, Unreal 5. So a lot of things that maybe the crashes I'm running into aren't going to happen there. As I mentioned at the beginning of this video, also some 4.27 stuff is not working in 5. So like, you know, my most recent pushes have not worked for that engine. I'd really like to use that again. I love the interface. But anyways, um, that's kind of where I'm at with the project. Um, yeah, I expect a little bit of a slowdown. And yeah, if someone wants to kind of step in and uh, do some, you know, commits to it. Uh, yeah, I'd love to see that. Um, but uh, that's it for today. Uh, I hope you have a great day and take care.